moisture that a lot of uh, illegals don't realize is from this shrub right here. You've probably seen John Wayne movies where they chop open a uh, barrel cactus and cup water out of it and everything. That's, that doesn't happen. There's, there's no good water in the saguaro. The plant right here, if I can get one of these off of here, they're very, very nasty little critters if you get them on you. Well, what I can do, these are barbed, and if they yeah. get in you, they're hard to get out without bleeding. And you will bleed, but they, they're not too bad. Will you hold that for me? No, no. <laughs> Somebody hold it for me, please. Let's do a demo, you know. Oh, okay. What we want to do is burn all the spines off this thing, cut it open, and you'll find that there will be moisture inside. It's a little windy out here, so I don't know if I can get this to go. Spines burn? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Don't let the forest rangers catch you doing this. How do you like your hot dogs? <laughs> but now if you're dying of thirst out here, you wouldn't worry about picking one of those off. You would uh, just burn the whole shrub. Go over there and burn the whole shrub. Yeah. See, so you can handle it now. Let's see how this one works. the moisture in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to taste real good, but it's kind of a cross between an avocado and an artichoke cart and a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I added in the cactus because it doesn't taste like either one by itself. But uh, you can get moisture out of that. This is not a very fat one. I should have picked a fatter one, but some of them are really full, almost like an avocado when you open it. And this stuff is edible. It doesn't taste too bad. Anybody want a sample? Tell us what it tastes like. Make sure there's no horns on that. Okay. I think it's okay. Now you see what I mean? There's moisture in that. Mm -hmm. And if you lit off the whole cactus, you could find plenty of moisture mm -hmm. to take care of. Here, you want some? Mm -hmm. Want one, Sharon? Yeah. yeah. You oh, sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're slimy. Mm -hmm. Very slimy, but that's the moisture part. Mm -hmm. That's kind of you get the same moisture out of a prickly pear. Mm -hmm. No. But you could eat prickly pear. I mean, they use it in salads and stuff like that, but it doesn't have the moisture content that these things do. I don't know why they do. Maybe it's because they're so spiny that it, it kind of keeps them from drying out. Is, too it, much. is it only the teddy bears or any of the choya that will? I would say the, the teddy bear the are the teddy best, yeah. Jumping choyas. Oh, yeah.